Hey guys, in today's video we've got some new products to look at. Stay tuned! So guys, in today's video we are doing things a little bit differently. So normally I just do review videos about cars, but this time I wanted to share some new stuff that I bought. So let me move some things around and show you the first things. The first thing I want to talk about are tiny servos. So these are 9 gram servos which you normally will use for a 2 speed gearbox or for certain diff locks for example. But these are just totally junk. So you can buy these models for like 5 pieces for 10 bucks or something like that. But these will just break very easily and I really don't like those. So in my quest to find better ones I found recently the GDW2. Uh, I'm not sure but I will put it in the screen night right now. But these are actually pretty good. But there's one big problem with those and that's the screw to mount the servo horn so these servos are using the 2.3 millimeter screws which you just cannot find and therefore you cannot really use them if you've got some different servo adapters or servo savers so yeah i yeah i don't going to use those anymore but now i found some different ones and that are these so these are the power hd the tr4 and these are the best that i found until now so these are totally waterproof we've got some metal gears inside there we've got a metal servo uh, adapter on there you know and it runs on 7.4 volt as well so these normally use only on 6 volts but these also run on the 7.4 volts which are just amazing so i've used those in a couple of builds now and these are just perfect in my opinion so if you're looking for a tiny servo i highly recommend to try out the power hd ones so let me show you the next thing Driving your RC car is fun, but do you know what's not fun? When your transmitter tells you that your batteries are dead, and that's always a big problem. So I always hate these batteries, you know, these throwaway batteries, I always hate those. And when they are empty, you have to find some new ones, and then you don't have got any. So that's just a pain in the butt, in my opinion. So therefore, I bought some new rechargeable ones. So these are made by Xtar, and these are rechargeable lithium-ion batteries, which I totally uh, uh, love. So I'm using those for a couple of weeks now, and these are just amazing in my opinion so as i mentioned these are rechargeable lithium ion batteries and they come with a dedicated charger so you cannot use just the standard chargers because this one is made for lithium ion batteries so if you're struggling with some normal yeah throwaway batteries i highly recommend to check out these because these are just amazing so let me show you the next thing there is one thing what I've done all my life, and that is using a motor and a separate ESC. But it's time for me to change, it's time for me to get modern. And therefore I bought the new Hubbering Fusion models. So I bought two different ones. So I bought the Hubbering Fusion SE and I bought the Pro, but that one didn't arrive yet. So what is this? Well, this is like a motor, but this is like a two-in-one. So the motor and the ESC is combined into one little package, and that's this. So let me get this aside and show you what's inside there. As mentioned, this is a two-in-one system. So this is the motor and the EC combined in one housing, and that's just amazing. So the EC inside there has got 40 amp. This one is 1800 kV, but this one is also available in 1200 kV. So let me get this out of the box and show you how this thing looks. Inside the box you will find some small bits and pieces, we've got some instructions, we've got a little extension cable and we've got a sticker which you can mount on your programming card. But let's have a closer look at the motor. And here is the motor guys and I must say I am totally impressed by it. Why? Well on the pictures I thought that the build quality was a little bit cheapies but the build quality is actually very very nice and it feels very solid so therefore I already like it. So we've got three little cables. We've got the battery connection cable, we've got the plug that goes in your receiver and we've got the on off switch. So the on off switch is like a two in one system. So you can use the on off switch of course to turn the power on and off but you can also use it to set the ESC inside there. So you can set the the back voltage for example or the drag brake but that is done via the yeah uh, the button right over there and that can be a bit tricky so therefore you can also use this little box and this is like the programming box so you can use a little cable to connect from here to there and then you can use this little box to do all the settings which is way easier than using only the button so the motor EC combination until now I really like it I think I'm going to do like a comparison test for this one and the pro version and I'm not sure in which car I'm going to use it yet 
But yeah, I, re I needed to try one of those and I am very impressed by it. So for this video, that was it guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.